then came the fertilizers. Fertilizers are inorganic salts like superphosphate, potassium nitrate, urea and they are prepared in the factories. Very easy to handle, you know manure is voluminous, it has lot of volume, difficult to manage, difficult to store. But fertilizers come in small packets and they are needed in very small specific amount. And also they are like your vitamins. If you are having bleeding arms, you use vitamin C. If you are having night blindness, you use vitamin A. So it is identified what is required, not that in general you start keep taking vitamins or various minerals. So in this case also, the soil requires various inorganic salts and depending upon their specific need, the fertilizer is chosen. For example, if nitrogen is required, you can add urea. If phosphorus is required, you can add superphosphate. If both potassium and nitrogen are needed, then you can have potassium nitrate. So like this, a fertilizer is selected depending upon the requirement of the nutrient or the mineral. So the advantage of fertilizer over the manure is it is easy to handle and also it removes specific deficiency. But then it also has its problems. It is expensive, all right, no matter for that. When we add fertilizers, we have to add more water. So agriculture becomes more expensive, all right, never mind that also. The worst thing is that fertilizer is not good for soil. Excessive use of fertilizer or frequent use of fertilizer makes soil barren. It changes its soil chemistry. It can become acidic, basic or saline. Not only this, when the fertilizers fall in nearby source of water, they increase the growth of algae. As a result, the other organisms suffocate and they start dying. So fertilizer is not at all eco-friendly. These days, that is why many farmers are going back to the traditional methods and are doing only organic farming. All the same, fertilizers have their advantage that they do increase the yield. So what should be done? There should be a judicious use of fertilizer and there should be a combination of manure and fertilizer. Not only this, there are certain methods of agriculture which can also provide these nutrients like rotation of crops. If in between you grow legumes, the bacteria themselves will be able to provide you with nitrogenous compounds because they have a bacteria. Remember rhizobium which fixes atmospheric nitrogen or sometimes the field can be left vacant, the field fellow so that it can replenish on its own. Just like when you are very tired, what do you do? You take rest so that you can recover. Soil also needs to take rest. So that can be left vacant for some time. Going back to the uses of fertilizers or water fertilizers, first point, they are inorganic salts. can remove specific deficiency. Increase the yield. Easy to handle and store. These are the uses. And the disuses not eco friendly. Number two, change the soil chemistry. Make soil acidic, 
बेसिक और सेलाइन एक्सपेंसिव यू नो मैन्योर अ फार्मर कुड मेक आउट अ वेस्ट ओनली ही डेंट हैव टू बाय एनीथिंग बट हेयर ही हैज टू बाय कॉजेस एल्गल ब्लूम वट डज दैट मीन एक्सेसिव ग्रोथ ऑफ एल्गी विच किल्स अक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स इट विल बी वर्थ द एफर्ट इफ यू मेक अ टेबल एंड राइट डाउन द डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन मैन्योर एंड फर्टिलाइजर so that you don't get confused and what is the best way not to choose between manure and fertilizer but use a combination and then you will have good yield also and your soil will also not get spoiled